Will, yeah, welcome to Late Night Shenanigans with Will the Steel. I guess that's him right there. You know, we got some questions that exactly. people want to know. And we here, we here to give you ladies and gentlemen all the answers. You know, yes, all no. the answers, you know. So y'all sit back, relax. We got all the answers for y'all. And when y'all come in these comments and tell us how y'all think <laughs> the next day, we want to answer. I'm going to forward them all to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to forward all of them to him, man. Hey, and I'm going to answer them truly, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, let's get started. Nah, I'm going to make this thing big. I'm going to make the layout big. There we go. Yeah, oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Nigga, I want to see your stomach. You eating, nigga? I'm rolling my day. How come? <laughs> the first <laughs> question. The first question, man. Yeah. What men think about women with uh, multiple baby daddies? Mm. What mm -hmm. do we think as men about women with multiple baby daddies? Let that women commit. know what we think about. Not what you think about, what men think about. Community pussy. <laughs> that, that's what we think about is community pussy. The pussy, so, the pussy must be good, or she just out there doing, but multiple, but that's that's crazy. Multiple. So multiple like about three or four. Oh yeah, she was two, she three, was four. A, she was a whore. Whoa. That's not true. That's not true, man. Well, four I mean, and then four is different. Four is different. Four is different. Yeah, we'll but get y'all passed. But you got three and four, four or five. Different. Three, four, five. You know, sometimes you know, it's okay, we understand, man. But it you know, a girl. I mean, some girls, they 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 was out there when they was like early age, probably got pregnant with her, and then they changed their life, changed their yeah. ways and shit. Mm -hmm. so, like that, that's how that should used to go. But, the but in terms of um, how about having future with? What do men think about the what, what do we think about women have their multiple babies, daddies, having future with getting married and stuff like that? I mean, we I mean, it's hard because we we're not gonna be fuck with nobody no four or five goddamn kids. I, I don't think I would and shit. That's well, much, that's you, like, well, um, yeah. That's a lot of that's a lot of responsibility, man. Fuck that. I ain't ready. I'm with this shit. Especially yeah, I think like, especially, um, especially the father's not in their lives. So you must gonna really love this motherfucker. She must really freak you out. No bullshit. <laughs> she did some shit you never did before. Shit. Yeah, I think um most men these days, especially the 2024, 25 man. Yeah. Um, they don't want to deal with no self-made family. Right. Some of them can, you know. Um, Colin. some of them can't. Right. Um, it'd it be hard because, especially about you know the kids get you know it's it gonna take a while for the kids to like you and respect you, and man, you know, and some kids, some of the kids ain't gonna fuck with you like that, man. Yeah, so and, gotta, and it also gotta, depends gotta, on how gotta, old gotta, the gotta, kids is, though, right? Yeah, that's true. Too. Yeah. So how about how about a kid like fourteen and shit? Oh yeah, they not gonna mm -hmm. fuck with you at all. Yeah, it, it, it's a it's, it's a big difference, man. When fourteen instead of the young, like three, four, five, yeah, six like years old. Yeah, four. Yeah, you know. And um, the great Kevin Samuel said, <laughs> "Your life is over." He said, ain't no man <laughs> want you. <laughs> that's why I don't know, man. Yeah, he said, don't want your he said, that's why I don't nobody want your ass. <laughs> that motherfucker pussy been that pussy been through some things, man. Yeah. So um, I don't know, ladies. Um, it's gonna be hard. Um, you know, you might have turned change like like Ma said, you might have changed your ways in life, you know. But when a man a man say a woman three, four, Three baby daddies and different daddies and stuff like that. Like, what the hell she been doing? Yeah, Three, four, be you know? I mean, I know a couple girls got. I, I know some good girls who got like yeah, um, three three baby, baby daddies. I know some too. Yeah, some good girls, but you know they just got they just you know got caught up. Yeah, they it they they, they but fuck that. Ain't, as long as it don't happen to me, shit, shit. You know, and um, now 
had kids cause a lot of money. That means you're gonna have to take care of these kids. You know, yeah. better y'all decide to get together. That means more money coming out your pocket. We don't know her and circumstances. You just, and you just, you can't just get one kid so I'm gonna leave the other ones out. But how about one of the kids disrespect the shit out? Just don't fuck with you at all. I'm not doing nothing for that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, and um, it's unfortunately that um, that's some of the things that um, they're gonna have to go through. They're gonna right. have to go through because of um, the laws, man. That they they're gonna have to go through because they got three baby daddies, and you know, they went yeah. through that situation, man. Um, yeah, yeah men don't men don't want to go through that. Yeah, it can be hard. That's a lot of yeah, because that's man mentally, you gotta be strong as shit. To deal with a woman with three or four different baby daddies and shit. You got really like that motherfucker. I mean, really like him. And it's mm -hmm. like I said, it's some girls out there who some good motherfucking girls. They just got three or four motherfucking kids by different dudes. And another thing men will say, some men will be like, oh, damn, she got three baby daddies. That means she giving that thing up like hotcakes. Yeah, yeah. You know, you that's another you thing. Home. You know, men, men going to be like, so, you know, that's a you might get that. I can get this pussy like that easy. You, you might can find a good man, you know. You might can find a, a man, but he know because he knows you're giving that thing up. You know, are you one of them? You know, <laughs> are you one of them? Are you who me? Yeah. What? Will you fuck with a girl with four or five kids? Different people? Like marry or just fuck with him? I mean, have a hell of a relationship with him. Yeah, like a relationship with him. Oh nah, hell no. Nah. Oh, I, I, mean, I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that, man. Not them too many damn kids, man. I ain't got time for that. But <laughs> father of um having sex with, oh yeah, I, I bust that ass anytime yeah, you want yeah. me to come so, over there and bust that ass. No, you better you better not then you gonna be number five and shit. <laughs> Baby father <Paul>, number five. <laughs> no, I'm not because I do protection. <laughs> right, it's gonna bust. Man, you know, I do protect. I, I just heard them studies that's been coming out now, man. Maul, I'm telling you, man, these niggas ain't strapping up something oh, wrong yeah, with y'all. I, I ain't playing no games. I'm it's telling you. Y'all heard about Texas with all them STDs in, in, in Houston. Now yeah. in South Carolina, they got it. I'm like, oh, my that's God. It, it, it's just sickening, man. I mean, I don't, I don't know where all this shit coming from, man. I'm glad my all son right, got one girl. Yeah, I'm glad my son got one girl. <laughs> Because it's South Carolina, boy. Good God Almighty. God damn. They, I mean, it's just crazy. They fucking like hot cakes down there, man. I mean, All they, they, they fucking everywhere. Motherfuckers ain't, just ain't getting caught up. They just getting tested. Yeah, I, you went, know, look, I went to the doctor uh, two weeks ago. got my test and shit, man. I had to make sure. Fuck that. Yeah. I, was thinking, I was looking at some while I was talking to somebody about some. Looking at a movie. Yeah. Oh, my God, Luke. I'm going to tell you the movie. It called, um, it's called, it's on Tubi. I forgot it, but this motherfucker made me go to the doctor. I made the doctor for him immediately, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy good shit, too. Hey, them, them two them two be movies to do it. Hey, dog, that two be movie made me make an appointment, Sam. Make sure I was good. I could fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, man. But yeah, man, this is just our opinion. You know, everybody think differently, but you know, I don't think men these days really want to deal with a woman for three, four. Because you know, Mo, we just talking about the kids. Yeah. When you talk about you got to deal with the baby daddies. Right. If they ain't lives. Most of them ain't going to be in their lives, though. What's the percentage of all four of them motherfuckers' baby daddies in their lives? Four or three, right. yeah. Right, yeah. 10%. Uh, it kind of low. Yeah. I, yeah. It's kind of low, you know. But still, yeah. you know how they get jealous because they know how that thing was like that. And they said, no, nah, nigga, and they're taking over. You know, it'll come yeah. away. Yeah. Then I'm going to start paying child support. Oh, you got to be a hell of a motherfucker. Okay, but how, okay, look at this and this, though. How about she got her full and you got like three of your goddamn self somewhere? Mm-hmm. That's seven motherfucking kids. Yeah. That's a big family. They get to play each other and care about each other and nurture each other. Man, I'd be like, look, boo. We're gonna all oh, that's gonna be just be a big family, live in one big house, and yeah, take all these motherfucking kids. Yeah, that, exactly. That's so, right work too. But, but most likely it ain't gonna happen because most likely like your girl will have the kids and not yeah. you. Oh, okay. That's what I'm See saying. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But how about how about if the girl, if we make an agreement, I live with my baby mother, 
No, if I bring I bring my baby mother, and we all live together and shit. <laughs> You stupid. That, 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 that ain't happening, man. That ain't happening, man. <laughs> I know. I'm looking at the TV. This late night shenanigans, man. You know, little shenanigans <laughs> always in it, but we're trying to answer the question that y'all have. Ma, um, are women single by choice? Are these women single by choice or niggas just don't want them? Well, right now, niggas just don't want you and shit, man. Right now. Because y'all be nagging the shit out of my. I mean, shit, man, shit. Y'all, women love drama for some reason, Lou. And I just don't understand the motherfucking shit. So we don't. I don't feel like dealing with the shit. So I don't. I, I know a lot of other motherfucking men don't feel like dealing with no fucking drama every motherfucking day. So that make us be single. We don't got to worry about the shit. We still gonna fuck you. Still take you out. Still go buy you something to eat. Buy you some shoes. Buy you some clothes. That title, we don't, we don't got no title. I'm single. Fuck that. So is this the older women or the younger women you're talking about? Because, yeah, you know, yeah, older okay. women, man, we're talking about old women, though. Older women, you know. I mean, oh, okay. Older, older mature older women, women are single. different. Yeah, old, older women, they, they choose to be single and shit. Because they already been there and done that. You know what I'm saying? So the younger ones, you know, that's all you get all that, you know, that, that, that motherfucker messed up energy and shit. All the mouth. And all yeah, the I don't need it, and you know, who nigga, you talking to? Yeah, nigga, I get my brother on. You bring that nigga then. Fuck his ass. You know, oh, um, I think older women are single by choice, but I think these younger women, man, you know, men just don't want to. They don't want to deal with it. They just worth just fucking and leaving. Right. They just worth fucking and leaving. Right. Let's be honest. Tell her how it is. Yeah, you true. That's it, true. It, true you know, they ain't, they, it ain't worth it. You know, because the younger ones gonna nag you. They ain't gonna want to go out. They gonna want to go shopping. They gonna want to do this. Gonna like now, right now, football. Come on, we don't want to be bothered at all. We don't want to be bothered. We don't want bothered Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, leave, Monday. Leave us alone. But goddamn, I'm a lot of motherfucking days. You probably gotta get. Right, leave us. I don't care. Leave us Thursday night football. <laughs> Thursday, I might get your pants. Night because football. They got Thursday night football. Thir th Sunday, I mean, Saturday is college football. Yeah, and Saturday, yeah. So we got you know? football all the way around, right? Exactly. So Saturday. you know, Damn. and you know, these young people, gonna be, these young ones, gonna be like, you don't never want to do nothing. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do yeah. that. You know? Yeah. Just, but the older, true. mature ones, you know, they go back, watch stories, or do whatever, or take their self shopping. Right. Or go out with their girls or whatever they want to do and leave us alone. Then the, yeah. the mature ones. Yeah. But see, that's why I need. I, I, I got to find me a girl who like football and shit. Who likes sports? Spurs. Mm -hmm. You can find a girl who likes sports, man. Shit, that shit might work out. But both y'all, yeah. both y'all know y'all sports and shit. Both y'all and I. We say this all the time for you women who don't know this. A man love a woman who knows sports and can talk sports. Mm -hmm. You know. Could sit back with you. She put her jersey on her hat on, and y'all yeah. might like different teams, but she gonna sit there and talk shit about football. She gonna talk shit, and look, y'all gonna be y'all gonna bet on certain games like little sexual shit. Oh, that's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. So, um, I think the younger ones are single because men just don't want to deal with them. I think right. the older women. Older women are single by choice because most likely some of these older women got good jobs, you know, yeah. making good money. And they mature, you know. All you got to do is treat them right, doing your relationship. Oh, they yeah. give you, you know, they give you time to, um, you know, watch the football and because they know that's what you love and stuff like that. Right, and it's, but it's a lot of like it's a lot of it's a lot of mature younger women too. But in some ways, they still fuck up. <laughs> It's no bullshit. They still fucked up. They still fucked up. Uh -oh. Late night shenanigans with Will for Steel that brought to you by Mo Joe Rising. You know, man, if you're having problems getting your thing up at night, you know, having sex with your woman, you know, just take one of these 15, what it take, Mo? 15 minutes? 15, 10 minutes. minutes. 15, 20 minutes, take one of them. It make you big and strong all oh, night no, long. No. You know, you can get them from Walmart, <laughs> 7-Eleven, 
uh, what's that mall? The corner store, the, the, the convenience store, store yep. gas stations. Gas stations. You know, if you want him to last long and you want to put it to him, take one of these capsules, open it up, throw it in his hot tea and stir it up or something. Let him take that. T- Boy, he be tearing that ass up hey, 15 he, he, minutes later. He's going to tear it up. You know? He's going to beat the box out there, motherfucker. He be, be, <laughs> he be tearing <laughs> it up, man. So Mojo rising, it makes you big and strong, strong all night, night long. long, man. So, you know. Dude. That's something that's what they need, man. That's what yeah. y'all need. And there ain't nothing wrong taking them. <laughs> long as you dick your house. Shit. <laughs> well, hey, whatever works for you, because they got all kinds of shit coming on now that I see on yes, TV. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. I mean, bad and all kinds of shit. I'm like, what the man, fuck are they, they got some. They got these red pills like that, man. I forgot the name of them motherfuckers. They like that, though. You know, um, I'm like, damn, man. They, what they trying to tell us, men having problems or something? Because most of this shit is for men now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, but that's the best. That's the best medicine ever been made by man and shit to help another man um have a shit. Because that's that's a mental breakdown shit too. You be fucked up, your dick don't get hard. I want to die. <laughs> I don't want to live no more. What's that? <laughs> Well, don't go out and don't go out and um Saudi Arabia and all them other places and go rape somebody. They cutting it off. So you 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 know you you, you I better be safe, no, I man. Hey, I look I, I look at too much motherfucking law and order be raping motherfuckers and shit, man. But my mm-hmm. stable and motherfucking live you knocking on your motherfucking door, ice tea and them and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly, man. You know, but you know. You got it. You got to do it, man. You got to do what you got to do. And women, don't be afraid to tell your man to take that pill because you want to get yeah. that thing beat. You want him to you beat that well, thing. You know damn well if your man dick don't get hard, you're going to go to the next man burning that joint up. Exactly. So, you know, men might think it's embarrassing, but if it's not working, make him go take it. It's not, it's, it's not embarrassing, man. It's not. You know, some men might think it's embarrassing. You know, I don't take well, it. A, well, they's a stupid motherfucker. I, I know once they take it, they ain't gonna say they embarrassed no more. <laughs> yeah, cause it works, man. So there you go, ladies. Mojo rising. You know, go take it. Go to get Seven Eleven convenience store, gas station, get it for your man, and um, you know, he'll be all right. Well, he'll be all is. right, man. So you know, well, um, the lady emailed me, and uh, what's she say? She say. Do today's women want to be taken care of and spend your money instead of her own? Because I mean, she say that's what her girlfriends do. All that's what I'm saying. I, I think all women want to be taken care of, and all women wouldn't mind for a motherfucker to spend their money on them and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You might got some women be like, you know, I got my own money. I don't need this, do that. But and then you got some motherfucking women. You know what I'm saying? Who like, man, fuck that. You can spend, spend all you can spend on me and shit. I'm, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it, it go both ways. It go both ways and shit. It go both ways. It go both ways? Yeah, it go both ways. Um, that, I think today's all- women, a lot of today's women, if you watch these shows, what's going on on the internet and TikTok, that is, women want to spend your money. Yeah. They don't want to spend their own. What woman? What woman don't want a nigga to spend money on? They want to spend your money, even when yeah. they get money. Right. You know, all women want a nigga to spend their money on them. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck what. Yeah, they do. I, I ain't me. I ain't me one yet. That you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, nah, I, I got my own money. Shit. Where, where the fuck she at? They do say that. Some of them will say that. They uh, say that when they get mad and shit. You know, they got their own money. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of them say they got their own money. If you got yeah, one that make make that money, they got their own money. Yeah, but I'm yeah. saying, I mean, goddamn, boo, I ain't say. I mean, don't get don't no way to get mad at me to say that shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? That that's how that break a nigga. Hey, that right there when a motherfucking girl be like, I got my own money. I don't need your shit and all that. That make a nigga feel bad for real. <laughs> 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 no bullshit. Exactly. You know. Yeah. Uh, they throw it in your face and everything else, face. man. But they 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 want to spend your money and 
it just life just don't work like that sometimes right. women just want they want to be taken care of they want you to pay you know i already women you know they wanted you to pay for this one will pay for that and um what's the girl name mo Ma that was on the um the bernie mac joint the strip club joint what's the name of that strip club joint oh uh, uh on the bernie mac on the, uh, you talking about the boom boom room no nah, the the movie the movie oh, when the girl oh, was movie. fighting when they fighting in the dress room, you know the. Oh, 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 you talking about oh, oh, my girl and shit, Lisa Ray and them and shit. Lisa Ray. Yeah. She said last week she will not date a man that don't pay everything for bills oh, and everything. Well, well, that bitch gonna be lonely. Dude. That's why that motherfucker um that that what's the name nigga left her ass and shit. That um he was a king or somewhere or something. She used to fuck with. Yeah, she yeah. tried to pull it. That big booty bitch. You, you old now. Nobody, I mean, you old. You ain't the young Lisa Ray. You are old. And I, I hate to say it. You know, people gonna get mad at us, but it's true. Yeah. When you know, when you were ten years ago, fifteen years ago, like that. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> men will do it for you. Cause you was like that. But yeah, you ready? You ready? Be on what's that shit called? Um, um. What's that junk called? Uh, that, that is Sean's or something. The NWRP. What was that shit? AARP. Yeah, that bitch AARP bitch name on the shit, man. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> want her motherfucking old ass no more. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, she said, yeah, she said two, well, two, three days ago, if a man is not paying all her bills and pay everything, don't even look her way. Well, That's let me tell you something. Yeah, I we don't got work. You're not looking your old ass way anyway. Right, right. Fuck is wrong with you? That's wrong. It with you. Like, it's, it's, it's motherfuckers like that fuck it up for all the good, other good women. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's why you buy yourself now. It it seems like more when these women they don't want you when they're young. Right. River Fox. Yeah. Her now. We don't want you, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want you want women. Old, I don't want no old Why y'all old? I don't want an no old ass bitch. Fuck that. We don't want y'all. Why y'all old? Y'all ain't want to give up the pussy when y'all was young, right? We don't want to nail. I'm, I'm not even attracted to your old ass no more. And shit. I'm trying to figure out an older person I'm attracted to and shit. I, I can't. Even he was in Players Club. Okay, Players Club. That's yeah, Players, Players Club. Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Players, Players Club. Club. But yeah, it is like it is like when they get old. Like Rebecca Fox, she looked like I hate to talk yeah, about. She looked, yeah, she looked like trash. That was her at first. She looked like trash. I said, she like shit. Fifty cent, fuck them, don't bitch. And she looked like shit. Yeah, she looked like a god. Lee Ray oh. still looks good, but you're old. You old as shit, yeah. And you want a man to do all this? Who doing all that for your old ass? When you can go get one of them nice, young, hardworking, educated, pretty, beautiful women, make six figures. Look yeah. just as good as you, but twenty right. years younger. Yeah, <laughs> fifteen years younger. Only old yeah, women I like right now. I mean, I like a couple of like Janet. I Janet still look good to me. Motherfucker, uh, what's my girl Nia Long? Mm -mm -mm. God damn, Nia, bad motherfucker. I miss mean, a lot of old motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But Vivica, yeah. Vivica and uh, and that, that motherfucker Lisa Ray. Oh no, nah, them they fucked up now and shit. You know. I think you know she still got her body, ass, tits, pretty, and all that stuff. But you know we can see the wrinkles. Hey, when she take the clothes on, that shit probably drop like a motherfucker, man. <laughs> I don't okay. know, I don't know, but I'm gonna say this: ain't nobody paying all your bills, girl. Or that's one of them millionaires that want you that um had dreams about you and stuff like that. Look, but I'm not well, doing it. Like paying our own motherfucking bills. What the fuck, what the fuck we gonna pay your bills? You know? for? But you know, like I guess I, I guess she ain't talking about people like us who can't afford it. You oh, know no. what I mean? She, she talking about them rich dudes. The yeah. rich dudes. But, but if, you wanna, if, if you look at it, if you look at the showbiz, show business people, um, Lou, the ones who are older now, that's that's what they try to find them a rich motherfucker to take care yeah. of them and shit. But if you notice now, them rich dudes don't want no old. They want them young women. Yeah, yeah, they want the young Jones. Yeah, you're right. They want the young girls. Man. Let me tell you more. I, I I forgot. I seen this young girl on the internet today. I mm. mean, beautiful black, blue eyes, man. Pretty hey. hair, thicker than a motherfucker. I don't want no pretty bitch, mo. 
That that bitch drive you crazy. I don't want them pretty bitch. Fuck them pretty bitch. Because you got to have money to keep them pamper up and everything. You know what? I don't even think about having money. I just don't want the headache of you. You know, you really got to be men. You really got to be secure of yourself. When you see hey. that pretty motherfucker of yours walk out showing half her ass and titty, knowing that niggas out there got quadruple your money. <laughs> yeah. So she, she got a really you know, fuck with you. So let me ask you a question. So you want a, so you want an ugly bitch? I don't want no ugly so one, but rather, I want. So you rather you rather wake up with the sun in your eyes or wake up in darkness? And shit, hey, it depends on how dark it is. Because <laughs> <laughs> look, in the darkness you will always see some light. But if you always in the light, it might hurt your eyes. So you won't get that one. It might hurt your eyes. No, I, crying. I, I get it. I get it. Like you know? hurt your eyes, hurt your pockets, and all. Shit. Shit. Exactly. Yeah. So I was in the house. I was like, I was, I was just, I forgot what I was doing. I was just going through TikTok and Instagram. Yeah. All I kept seeing was all these bad young under twenty eight ass women. Mm -mm -mm. I was like, oh god, them, them niggas can't have that headache. I done had them before. I don't have them before. I, that is a headache, man. Oh my god! See, I'm, I'm, man, these females. Why they? Why they like that, man? I don't understand. You know, I don't, you know the these generation of women to seem like to us. They just have to show skin. Yeah. They have to show some kind of skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. If that's your way of looking sexy, you can't dress nice and sexy with clothes on. You know, nice pants and stuff like that. Jeans on. Look, and I love a girl with a suit on, man. You ever see a girl with a nice ass suit on, man? Oh, they look so good. And, you know, them the the one that does that the the um the mature higher educated women who dress like that right you know these young hooker bus on tiktok or twitter who's looking like goddesses <laughs> <laughs> because oh, we can shit. tell y'all right now we'll tell y'all right now if we was rich we'll have all of them <laughs> we we talking this shit <laughs> but we will try our best you know to um to, to be with them hey we be tricking like a motherfucker you know but if you're not rich and you got decent money and you get one of the little sexy, pretty young motherfuckers who work, but they go out all the time, man, right. and you just, uh-uh, nah. Yeah. So I'll tell you, Ma, I think I sent you a picture of one of them, too. I'm like, good I, God. I, I, mean, I mean, if they go out, that might be our motherfucking space when they go out. You go, they go out, boo, fuck that shit. Yeah, they go out with all that sexiness, and in the back of your mind, you're going to be like, what the fuck is she doing? She coming right. at you on 2, 3 in the morning? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> But look, if she don't come in two or three o'clock morning, give me no pussy. I'm thinking that bitch doing something, man. <laughs> but the, look, but to avoid that, you just go to the darkness. <laughs> Fuck that, man. Oh my God, I'll tell you, that's how men think, women. We just fucking with you, but we let y'all know. That's how men think, you know. Some men are like, nah. And we love the fuck out y'all nagging motherfuckers, man. We really do. I'm telling you. We be like, up. we be like, we ain't, we, you know, we ain't dealing with all that crazy stuff. Yeah, no, no. he don't feel like that. Yeah, he just don't feel like dealing with it, right? You know, yeah. more. Huh? Are healthy relationships boring? Is it? Huh? Is a healthy relationship boring? Healthy relationship. Is it boring? Yeah, if your relationship healthy, it's not. It's not boring. Cause y'all, y'all together. Y'all doing things together. Y'all having fun with each other. Y'all not arguing, fussing, fighting. Y'all, y'all relationship is healthy. It's not born. born so is, born is when y'all arguing all the time and you go in one spot of the house, you go in another spot of the house, or you get mad at each other, don't call me, I'm gonna call you. That's a born that's born, unhealthy. that's fighting. That's an unhealthy relationship though. Yeah, that's unhealthy, yeah. Yeah, but born is just sitting around doing nothing, you know. You do this, she do that. Around, around. Looking at TV all day yeah, day. I'm not just TV, just you know. Yeah, Boy, you gotta, not, you, gotta, not you, gotta, you gotta do you gotta do some type of activities, man. Yeah, you gonna do something, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? So I guess she was saying, you know, a healthy relationship that means y'all interactive, y'all going places, y'all doing stuff and having all this stuff. But do they get boring at times? Yeah, if you ain't if you ain't really depending, you taking the same girl 
out to do do certain shit. The and, same and shit. shit. And y'all, yeah, the same old shit. Go to this place. Go out to eat this place. Go out to eat, go out to this place. Go out. It's gonna give you your relationship gonna be born as a motherfucker. You gotta you gotta be creative and shit, man. Got gotcha to and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, be you creative, get you can be good. Yeah, you got to do something, man. Yeah. You got to do something. Look who just joined us more. And I learned that shit too. I learned that we you got to um you, you got to do some of these motherfuckers. You remember one time, Lou? I ain't take no motherfucker out of y'all shit. Oh, oh, that ain't my man, is it? Oh, That's Mister no, Respectfully. What's up, man? Oh, man, respectfully. What's up, babe? What up, uh, man? Look, I was looking for y'all to be live. Y'all doing okay? Y'all, I was looking. For, I was like, damn, they ain't went live yet. So I just no, that's why I told you I was gonna send you the link. Yeah, I just hit it, and I was like, man, okay, okay. I seen, okay. What's going on, man? What's up, man? Goddamn, man. Look at you. How y'all feeling? Man, we, man, good. we good. You know, they like like shit out there. Hey, what I done missed? What I done missed? You missed a lot of shit, man. Just answering these questions, man. You know. Man, These man, women, they, man, they need help, man. They need help, Dub. I'm telling you. Yeah, they need help. But, but yeah, I'm going to get dubbed this for I'm going to get dubbed this. For instance, Lisa Ray said, you cannot date her or look at her if you don't pay all her bills. Lisa Ray from the, the from, from Players Club? Yeah. Okay. So I gotta I gotta pay all her bills just to take her out on a date. And she gotta be out of her motherfucking mind. What if I don't like your ass? What if I, <laughs> what if I take you out? I'm paying right. bills for me, I don't even like. Nah, what that man? They getting crazy with these type of shit. These type of shit, bro. It's then getting crazy. They old now, then they old. Nobody want to take no old ass Lisa Ray ass out. What exactly? Give me Lisa Ray fifteen years ago. That's a difference. One. That's a difference. But, but see, the same way she thinking how a lot of the, the younger women think, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You be hearing it. I tell them, you hear that shit all the time now. Yeah. yeah. It's all you about know? That, 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 that almighty dollar now. But, you know, them older women that we used to lust over when we was young, we don't lust over no more. We don't yeah. lust over Lisa Ray and um, who we talking about earlier, Ma? Um, uh -huh. um, what's her name? Oh, you know, uh, Lisa Ray. Vivica Fox. Vivica Fox. Don't nobody want y'all old asses no more. <laughs> they, 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 they prime now. We are, yeah. Look, look, it, it, it's too many young ones out here to be looking at to be the, 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 what y'all got going on. Right. Uh, see, see? He come they, in they, and they say the same shit we said. They locked somebody down two years ago. <laughs> Lisa Ray tried, but that nigga got the fuck away from her crazy ass. Yeah. Man. So you mean to tell me I got to pay all your bills and shit like that just to ask you out on a date and take you out? That's you know, you're like 50-something, 50, 50 years old now. You out your she damn should, mind. She right. should be trying to pay somebody else's bills just so she can yeah. have a man. Like, bust it up, man. I'm going to bust it up, ass. You know, and to be real about it, if your sister wasn't gay and back in shape like she was, that's who everybody would want. Oh, the brat. The brat. Yeah, but she was man. younger. Good God Brent Almighty! The brat could get it, man. You know who that uh, motherfucker I like? MC Light and shit. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> you said I'm MC like, nah, Light? man. MC Light. <laughs> I burn his right. ass up. But <laughs> man, let me tell y'all, ladies, something, man. Y'all can't wait till y'all get in y'all high forties to think a nigga want y'all now. Man, you I mean, look, shit, the change. I mean, you, Look, you, they, they better get on the relationship in their 30s and hope it go, go. you know what I'm saying? Because that nigga know who the fuck you is because a new nigga don't want that raggedy shit. Yeah, like Make now, it. if I say this name, Will's going to get mad, but she's looking old. She putting thirst trap videos on and everything, and I don't care the backlash. Oh. Lala Anthony. Oh, la and, I love, and I love Lala. I love Lala. They still fat to death, but you can see them wrinkles. Yeah, they coming. Oh yeah, you know what? I did see a movie, but her body like that. Oh, God, yeah, but you know, it just—I don't know what it is that when <laughs> we like that, with, huh? I said she should have stayed with Melo here. Well, he was cheating, so he cheated three times. Nigga gonna Mello, cheat anyway. Yeah, but you know, you, you anyway. see the, uh, 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 watch, the way we look at Lala Melo already, man. Got, uh, he got like did five you see that bad motherfucker, motherfucker he had on the boat? <laughs> you got five, yeah, you got like five, 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 five,
Yeah, they millionaires. But, but that's the difference. That's the difference, though, between men and women. As a, as a man, as you get older, your value increase. You got more money. You can do more things. Whereas well, as a as a woman, your main value usually isn't your money. It's it's your looks and and you know what I'm saying. Being able to have children, all type of things. So if you don't take advantage of it when you can, shit. Hey, when you got you know money, saying? when you got money, you feel like you you that motherfucker. I'm that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. nothing gonna stop me when you got money. You know what I'm saying? You, you mm -hmm. confident? They a broke motherfucker. He gonna thank before he talk and all that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. And, and, and let me tell you something funny about broke motherfuckers. Bro. We we can be broke and still say, man, I don't want that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> don't give a damn. You know what I mean? I do it all the time. It, 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 you know, it's just so the standard is a standard man. Men are just, you know, it is it's just different. Yeah. You know. You, we didn't, you didn't want us when you was young. Now you get older, you want us. We don't right. want you while you old. Well, yeah, fuck that. Fuck with me when I, fuck with me. I, look. That's like, man. We um we in our twenty five. We twenty and twenty five. You try to talk to this girl, she just don't fuck with you at all. When you yep. get like forty and fifty, the bitch want to be on your line. And shit. And they doing it now. Ah. They doing it now. They doing ah. now. Ain't it. Saying, hey, big head. I yep. wanted, look, I wanted the young you, not the old you. They they be like, they be like, hey Lewis, I said you grown now. I said, yeah, but I'll be like, well, yeah, but you not. But you too grown. Right. I'm, I'm gonna be like, girl, you look different as shit. Oh. But 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 see, this is the difference between today and the old days. So you know, I grew up with old folks anyway. You know what big money? Hey, hey, Big Mo used to be like, look, you better get you. She used to tell all my female cousins at a young age, you better get you a man now and keep him. You mm -hmm. get, whether you like him or not, you better get you one and keep him. You know what I'm saying? Right. And now they think that that, that, that they're, they're mid 20 years. Oh, it's for partying, clubbing, <clears throat> living my best life. Well, then, uh, look, look at this. I say, we, you know, we, we, we getting old like. Like me, oh, I, I don't even like put myself in lube, motherfucker. You old, you old. Wait, wait, wait. 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 the only one you young on this panel. Huh? Doug's the only one young on this panel. Yeah. All right, well, look, I'm still young too, man. Well, anyway, fifty. When you turn fifty, man, you don't want no motherfucking bitch, man. Shit just falling every goddamn way and all that. We want that. We want that young apple pie, man. <laughs> But you know that's not life, even though. So sometimes we be tripping because you know, you know, we ain't gonna be able to get them young girls all the time. Them, you know, them older women going you know flop, slop titties, and we just gonna have to deal with it and love it. You know what I mean? Though you just gonna have to deal with it and love it, baby. Man, listen, listen. You, you can grow to love it at some point in time, but that's why, that why you start that shit early so you can go on and, and you know we we gonna fall off together. You know I'm what I'm saying? Like, hey, look. I'm gonna tell that bitch, just don't walk around the house with no clothes on, please, man. God damn. Nah, you faking. Stop it, man. Right, God, I mean, that's, that's the best yeah. time when we both walk around the house naked. That's the best time. First of all, first of all, Maul is lying because he likes skinny women. They ain't he got no titties. Yeah. So yeah. he's lying. <laughs> See what I mean, though? Now we like <laughs> heavy big. We like both, though. We like heavy big women too. You know I what I mean? But not big big. Not big big. We like big women. You know what I mean? But Maul like no skinny women. Their titties like this small. So you know, I can deal with it, man. But um, somebody, I, somebody, somebody cursed me and said I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna marry a big girl. And shit. I said that's fucked up. Though. You are, <laughs> you are. You know, but you know it is what it is, man. I'm just letting y'all women know, man. Don't wait till y'all get up in age and try to throw that ass and give the man's like we really give a damn. Cause we can go find a young 28, 27 right. and right. zoop and thick and better than you. Yeah. Just as good as you. You know, because men, the difference is, I hate to say it, man, when we get old, we still can get young niggas. When y'all women get older, you know, y'all some of y'all still can get young men, but y'all gonna have to keep it up. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 most of the time, most men they trying to deal with older women too much like that. It, on, on on nothing serious. On nothing. I serious. don't want nobody mm -hmm. my age. Fuck that. Yeah. So if I find a, if I find a mother my age, I mean, I'm gonna be with that mother for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, 
I, that's why I told my man, I say, that's why I'm waiting this long now. I ain't getting married no more until I'm about, I'm this age now. Now I get married again because I'm old now, so I ain't got to worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't getting married. I see everybody else shit off. I see everybody else shit off. Yeah, y'all saying that now. Y'all saying that now. That little, that a dub I told him all today. I seen this sexy, young, pretty, blue eyed, pretty hair motherfucker on Instagram today. I want to, I, I, give me an ugly bitch. Because them the type of girls that you're going to be certain. Where you at? I don't want that in my life. I don't want yeah. it in my life, man. Gotta keep a chain on the leg. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. walk down the street with an ugly bitch. Nah, you you ain't you ain't no I, I, that, hey, yeah. look. Nah. If she ugly, make a lot of money, and she faithful and cool and clean, yes, I would. Yes, yeah. I would. I know. You want to laugh like a motherfucker. You know, yes, I, I would. Everybody, I believe me, everybody ain't got beautiful women and pretty women. Stop oh, the fake. Walk around, uh, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, Stop I'm the not fake. Well, what's the ugly women, though? I mean, a regular size, regular woman. We ain't talking, we talking about like, I, right, right, I mean, I right. can take a, I can take a six and a seven. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's I don't need a when 10 and a 12. Well, but but when you say ugly, I'm talking that's that's two threes. Oh right no, now. no, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm talking about like a six, a seven, uh, something like uh, that. Average, uh, average woman, I ain't got no problem with no average woman. I ain't got no problem with it. No you're, problem you're with it. Walking down the street with this ugly girlfriend, and she and, uh, and, uh, and it's gonna be crowded, and she's gonna kiss you. She's gonna want to kiss. I'm gonna say, mm -hmm. and you know what, you <laughs> nigga, I'm like, she make more money than all y'all niggas on this corner. So you hey, want to with a broke woman, John? She ain't gotta make more she ain't gotta make more money. All I need you to do is take care of home. Pay. Yeah, yeah, make sure it's, 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 more screwed up in the brain, you know. Nah, 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 nah. More screwed nah, up in the nah, brain nah. all that fake fake stuff. You know what I mean? As long as you happy at home, the pretty women ain't gonna make you happy. Them bitches don't need one to cook, they're gonna order Uber Eats, you're gonna be broke. <laughs> And look, okay. and, I, and, so I'm, I, and I'm, I'm gonna be the one though. paying for that anyway. I'm paying for that anyway. So, so I'm not, well, I'm not walking the street with no ugly ass girl, y'all. Fuck that. Shit. Yeah. Ma, let, 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 put the put all the women up on the show right now. Put them all up. Let's see the pictures of all of them. <laughs> it's not, it's not enough room. <laughs> I know. Well, let's put about five of them up right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Get that, hey, look, you didn't know how we used to get uh, D block in trouble. Let's get this nigga in trouble. <laughs> hey, D block, they got in the car road down the street. <laughs> hey, hey, look. See, I ain't saying that, right? <laughs> exactly. Shut up, because this this going to be posted tomorrow on Wheels of Late Night Shenanigans, nigga. So let me ask you Girl, want to know five things that um will make a man. Leave a woman. Let's tell these women five things that will make a man leave a woman. Starting with Doug. Give them give them five things, Doug. Man, uh, if you ain't a clean person, if you if you ain't clean, you know what I'm saying? As far as the house go, that type of thing, that's the first thing. Of course, cheating, anything like that, bro. You ain't you ain't gonna be, you know, you can't accept none of that. Uh, disrespect. You got to be a respectful individual. You can't be disrespectful toward me. You know what I'm saying? You can't feel like you can call the shots. Um, I would say, man, if 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 you if you don't allow if you don't allow if you keep up mess. If it ain't no peace in the house, then I don't want to be around you. I need peace. You know what I'm saying? I need calmness. I I need tranquility. You feel me? And uh, hey, for me, you know what I'm saying? You got to love kids. Because I got a son, I'm a single dad. So you got to make sure that uh, you rock with my son. You know what I'm saying? If he don't like, well, he ain't got to like you, but you got to rock with him regardless. You feel me? You got to rock with him. So well, those are the five things for me. We ain't talking my about head. you, Ma. We talking about men in general. What okay. five things? Um, drama. Men don't like drama at all. Cheating. Your pussy not good. Good, no good sex. Your sex got to be good. Uh, let me see. M <laughs> money. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to spend all my motherfucking buddy. So, and let me see one more. And, and, uh, and if a person like disrespectful, like just straight disrespectful, don't even give a fuck. That's my fire right there. Um, mine is like men want men want honesty. Don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. You know, um, loyalty. Law. We want you to be loyal. You know, be loyal. Um, yes. Give up space. 
Space. We want our space. That's the most important time. Don't be trying to be up under us every fucking day. Right. If I'm watching right. the game, you can watch it with me, but you ain't got to lay up on me while I'm watching the game. Yeah. Exactly. Respect. Because if you don't respect, there's no relationship. Right. You got to respect your man. Right. You got to respect him. You know, like Ma said, but a different way. Love him. Love and cook. You got to know how to cook. That's you know, we're cool. not going to be eating out all fucking day we become 5,000 now I, will say, I like to cook. I like to cook. I like to cook. Men like a woman who know how to cook. Yeah, yeah. Learn how to cook. This poor, this poor the motherfucking cuss and shit, man. I don't want a girl in my motherfucking kitchen and shit, man. Fuck this shit. Yeah. Hey, what's that? Hey, Jay, Jay clean up after me when I'm done. You cl- Jay yeah, clean, clean, up, clean up, up after me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, clean up. Man. You know, yeah. well, I, as I hear, I guess everybody on this panel know how to cook. Oh yeah, you know? bad, so yeah, I mean, but still, you want a woman to cook for you sometimes. Yeah, it's you know? true. It's true. Come on, man. I Stop mind the... coming home. I wouldn't mind coming home to cook me a little But you know, if you go by what people say, and you know, the women supposed to cook and clean and do all that stuff, right? Men pay the bills. You know, that's how it's supposed to be, nah, but that's not true that's now not... in 2024. Uh, but at least cook. Yeah. You know, if he even if you if he come home say, baby, you ain't cooking, you cook something for me. Sure, blue, 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 cook it for. No, no, nah, I ain't cooking shit. I don't nah, feel like I'm tired. Before, or be, or before I go, uh, before I uh, come off work, babe, cook something for us, babe. Yeah, hey, look, look, at least be able to make a good sandwich. Hell, yeah. if you, you may not be the best <laughs> cook, you may not be the best. <laughs> But make a damn, sandwich. make a good sound. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's straight up country shit right there. Let me make this sound. <laughs> you know, but you know, if you listen to some of these, like when I'm on Twitter and I see stuff coming down my timeline, you see some of these young women that mm-hmm. they got to they they got that knowledge now. You know, my man go to work, he take come home and pay the bills and stuff like that. I'm gonna make sure he eat. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure uh, yeah, I clean. I'm gonna suck his dick. I'm gonna do everything you know possible why? to make yeah. him. Him happy. happy. That's the key word. Happiness. You know that motherfucker doing. All, if he sacrificed doing all that for a girl, she should sacrifice and do do the um other shit for him. Exactly. Him happy. And, and so, the, 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 the interesting thing is, most of most men that I know, most men, real, bro, you want to take care of somebody. You want to take mm-hmm. care of a lady. You know what I'm saying? You want to do those things for him. But it got to be some. All this, what? man. It gotta be a give and take, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you take care of motherfucker, you like when you when you take care of motherfucker, you like you feel better about yourself and shit. And, and you want to make the bro? I ain't got no problem trying to make a woman. I ain't got no problem with that. Me, trying to make her happy, you feel right. me? My thing is, it, it gotta be a give and take. That it ain't it ain't like I'm for the just do for you, you know what I'm saying? And, and one of the worst things that happened, in my opinion, is they started this whole well. The gender roles need to stop it. With no, no, the oh, reason we talked that, about that before you came on, we talked about it. Hey, but mm. the reason you had gender roles is because this is what the genders are good at. Men protect naturally. It's it's natural for us to do these things. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If a nigga run into into the crib, I ain't expecting you to hook with him. I'm a, right. That's my job. Yeah, that's exactly. that's your job. Yeah, you're right. So so when when they start this this new feminist progressive whatever you want to call it. This new movement that's out here going on, I'm like, bro, this shit ain't doing nothing but destroying shit because now it, we can't even have peace with each other because you want to do what I do and you want me to do what you're supposed to. No, it don't work like that. That's how it ain't never worked that way. You know what I mean? Now the, the 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 difference is and the problem, men done civilized the world so much that the the woman now can go out and make a living and do those type of things, and I ain't got no problem. But think about back in the day, the, the cave. The reason you had men and women <laughs> in gender roles is because shit. I'd rather his ass go fight the line than me going to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, he 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 got the big. He's stronger than me, anyways. Naturally, so I need his protection. I need his. You know, I'm here to take care of the baby. I'm here to take care of the child to build a house. Right. That type of thing. You had that, to, go ahead, my then, bad. Um, you know, you hear women now talking about there's no loyal men out here. No, there is loyal men and good men out here, but maybe yeah. they're not loyal and good to your nothing. You know, they, they just don't want your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the truth, Mo. 
Yeah, uh, duh, maybe they don't want your nothing ass because they, they know you. you're nothing. I don't care. You know, maybe yeah. you're not as good looking as you think you are. Right. You know, but, but a lot of women out here got ass and titties. Well, is yeah, it real? Yeah, you're right. Is it real? You always go outside and get your girl. Is it real oh, though? Is so it real? Go out anywhere. <laughs> exactly, huh? Shit. Just because you went out and paid for some ass and titties, what that mean? You know? No personality whatsoever. Exactly. Well, look, we go, we see, go out and do them and come home and be with them. So what the, what these the women around, got the game twisted, and um, we here on behalf of um Kevin Samuels to tell Sorry. you guys. Y'all fucked up. Shout out to KS, yeah. man. Shout out to RIP to KS, man. RIP. That's right. Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels, man. Yeah, you right. know? Hey, man, y'all women crazy. Maybe don't nobody want y'all tired ass. Yeah. Hey, hey, you know what's so funny? What Kevin Samuels was doing, we're keeping it real. He was keeping it real. And, and women hated him for this. Yeah. But the man kept it, he kept it a buck all the way around. Yeah, because you see right through that bullshit. And some motherfuckers get to talk about it, y'all. We're going to talk about the shit. We're going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. And this is another one. Um, I guess this lady, she makes seven figures. So I don't know what's going on with her. But she says, if a woman makes seven figures, mm. do that mean she don't have to cook and clean and wash? That's not true because you... Just like we said, you gotta do whatever it takes to keep your man and make your man happy, especially if you make you happy. So why the fuck you can't cook, okay, bitch? You making all the money? So what? I'm making money too, but you better go in that motherfucker and cook me something to eat. Hey, look, 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 hey, hey, do I just get to sit at home all day? <laughs> no, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good question. No, I, I don't. House husband, like a motherfucker, you think I want? But that ain't, that, if I'm sitting there, she's going to be pissed off I'm sitting at home all day, regardless of how much money she's making. But, 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 because, but, but, and look. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So but, what's but, it, Go ahead. But if that happens, right, say say she's making all the money and you sit in the house, I don't know, you cleaning up, cooking and all that shit. She going to feel like you're a piece of shit. She's going to give you allowance money and shit like that. That's too much control. She's going to try to but run you over. Okay. But, um, you know, I guess in this point of view, I'm gonna take both of them got money. You know, that's I'm, I'm I ain't gonna talk about he ain't making no money. Yeah. Oh, that's if because if you do take it to standard that the, he ain't got no money, of course she's gonna try to run over you. Right. You know. But, but, but I, just think about this. Think about you making. You ain't making seven. You making a hundred and and fifteen thousand a year. You know what I'm saying? That's what yeah. you make. She making seven figures. She, she y'all y'all millionaire now. Y'all millionaire. Right. But. At the same time, you making significantly less than her, right? Man, you still it's still a role to be played in the relationship. Right. And, how you gonna feel? And, and that's the thing. You gotta let them and, and one of the things that you you kind of that, that I think has been let, lost in this generation is a man has to lead. Right. That's 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 a natural right. thing for us. And if you're not leading, if you're not leading, then you really don't feel like a, a man like that, bro. Like it, it is what it is. That's you don't feel that way. So. That's why I say you gotta feel good about you. You know, if we, if, if you, if the girl making all the money and shit, she doing this, she doing that, paying all the bills, man, you gonna feel a, a real man gonna feel lesser than a man, man, a real motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? So, motherfucker, just like you said, a man gotta be the leader. If you making second seven figures and he making seven figures, your ass still gotta come home and cook. And clean uh, right. and do all this shit a right. woman should be doing, yeah. you know, in the household. Right. You know what I mean? You know, because both y'all probably paying the bills, right. you know, unless you have, unless you hiring a maid or yeah. something like that. <laughs> well, if, if, if we both making seven figures, then we, we definitely got a maid. We got a, probably got a chef. Probably got all <laughs> We making all that, there, buddy. Yeah. I'm just saying. You know, still, so, I, I think it'd be. I, st I think it still be. That's spoilers right there. I think it still be good if she still do that. Yeah. You know, if you think um these women that make all that money who got a husband who don't have a maid and a chef and stuff like that, you think they don't cook and clean? Who if they don't do it, who do it? The butlers. The no, I say who don't have that. Oh, now they got clean up yourself. Exactly, and who want to cook? You got to cook. Right. Yeah. 
Unless you you going out every night like Regis and um his wife used to do. <laughs> they went out every night. Yeah. To eat. You know? Give him money. Yeah, that's not life. Right? Yeah, I want to I want, I want a home cooked meal by my girl and shit. You know, that's not life. You know, us, I want to come home to some damn fried chicken, some greens, you know, some some macaroni cheese, man, yeah. some days, you know, Sunday meals Pay and stuff. Diet. You know what I mean? Yeah. We ain't gonna never get that stuff up. <laughs> Come on, baby, let's go out. Come on, baby, let's go out. Come on, baby, let's go out. I can't can. order Uber Eats and go out every day one day. Every motherfucking day, man. You know, so, yeah, um, Miss Lady, um, yeah, if you ain't got no maid, you still gotta cook. Right. <laughs> yeah, he got a good job. He, you know, both y'all can compromise, but if he at home, and, you know, and he and you doing all the money, he got to do it, but you know? He, I mean, but this, this is what I'm saying, Lou. If he at home and she making all the money, I know he feels some type of way about that. Yeah, because she can but, talk shit to him, put his yeah. ass out, all that shit. Well, I think them, the, yeah, but yeah, they can do it. They will do that. You know, women will do that if you piss them off. Yeah. But, you know, it depends. It, all that still depends on if both, you know, if both y'all name on a house, she right. can't put you out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know, so I, it's, I, it, dep know. it depends on a lot of shit, man. You I know? said I ain't gonna never live with no girl unless our names on a motherfucking lease together. Fuck that. I seen, you know? I, I, seen I, I seen this shit happen to so many people, man. They live with their girls. They live with their girls. The motherfucking girls tell them to go get put out. Now these motherfuckers don't got nowhere to go. They come and knocking on your door. Man, can I sleep on the couch? They say, uh... Get, give me something, get a job or something. Hey, you, crazy, nigga, hey, you can't sleep on my couch, nigga. Nigga, you better uh, what you what you what bill you paying? Nah, hell no, right. you can't sleep on my damn. Hey, you got you got a day, maybe two, but outside of that, you better hey go 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 get right. That's you why right. when you when you dub you right when you living with some a type of girl like that, you gotta have some type of income coming right. in, right? Something, you know. Right. Cause these women will say they not like that, but piss them off. Even the ones that think they nice, nice, you think they nice, nice, then the ones that be like, this my shit. Yeah, you know man. what I mean? They, 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 they love saying that. This is my motherfucking house. This is my motherfucking shit. I paid the yeah. motherfucking shit. I bought this. Yeah. I sound so, like a motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> and any, any time an argument come up, that's the first thing that's going to get yeah. thrown in your face. Mm -hmm. Well, no, nah, you, you can't live like that. Yeah. And you know, men don't do that. Nah, hell men no. Don't do that. Unless just, you know, you really have to really, really piss them off and y'all shit is about over with yeah. for them to do that. But women, they do that shit real quick. Cause you know, you know, Ma, when I was on our street, my house before I sold it, people just women come stay with me. I ain't never tell my wife that shit. This my house yeah. get out. I ain't yeah. never tell her that. Hey, look, look, uh, a nigga will fuck around and go sleep on the couch before he he, he be like, you know what? And, and, and get you to bed. You, even though I done bought the, the motherfucking bed, you, you can have it. You can have it. I just don't feel like arguing. You know what I'm saying? I, hey, I, I always told my women, I, I said, look, I don't give a fuck how mad we get. I ain't sleeping on no couch. Hey, that's what I was ready to say. I was ready to say, I ain't sleeping on no motherfucking couch. Fuck that. You bitch, know, you know, better, bitch, you better lay on one end, I lay on the other end. Yeah. <laughs> or don't touch me, one or the other. I ain't okay. laying on no couch. You know, but um, you know, that's how it is, man. man I done slept on the couch before. I ain't gonna lie to you. I done slept on the couch. Yeah, you know, I mean, it happens before that. though, you know. It happened when like if you over that place and stuff like that, you know, then you're like, fuck it, it's your plan. I'm, I'm going on the couch. Fuck that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Sorry to hear that dog, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, hey, 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 look, uh, the pay the rent, the car note, car store. He can't even sleep with his own goddamn bitch. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> hey, hey, Ma, Dub walking around, say, I done paid all these motherfucking bills. Yeah. She said, I don't give a fuck. Get your ass on that couch. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. It, it's my choice. It's my choice. You can't tell <laughs> me. <laughs> Sometimes, oh, right? Shit. Sometimes you just be tired of a motherfucker, man. You be tired yeah. of that shit. Like, bro, yeah. no stop keeping that. You keep you every time I see you keeping that shit up, bro. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah. I don't no girl, right? I mean, you got, damn, man. You got 
You know, it's just you know I'm gonna tell you though, living with a woman, if this the right woman, is the best thing in the world. It is. If yeah. it's the right woman, man. It but is. that's how you got. If you find the right woman, and y'all gotta understand, it, and y'all can be together, y'all and y'all love is so deep. Yeah. But man, I can't. I, I ain't never been with none of them motherfuckers. What the fuck is they at, man? Yeah, my <laughs> like, like my um, my wife, my older kids. She was a perfect woman. It was just me. Oh, oh that's that, you know. It was just I'm me. very proud of you, man. It was me in the streets. That that, that's what's up, man. It was me in the streets doing my thing and disrespecting, doing some crazy stuff, man. You know. Oh, that's up, man. And, hey. and when people ask me why we broke up, I say it was me. It was me. It wasn't her. I came home every she cooked dinner for the kids. Every time I came home every day, when she got off work, she cooked. Did she did everything a woman should do? She washed the clothes, everything. But you know, I'm young. That's the first, that's the, I'm, I'm 28, that's 27 the in the streets, you know. Yeah. Doing my thing. They happy. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I screwed up. Everybody. We always had that one girl that we should have been with. But they we, always that one. Yeah. You know, and, and I, 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 you know, I messed up on that one. Yeah, my daughter's baby, mom, I'm mad as shit at myself, man. Bush. <laughs> All right, so the girl, um, let me ask y'all this: Do you think women have a problem being submissive? Do women have a problem being submissive? Hmm. The majority, um, the the modern the modern day woman does. Yeah. Yep. And, yep. and 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 the, the the crazy thing when you when you say submissive, the first thing they want to argue, I ain't got to submit it. They, they look at it as a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it ain't like we saying we finna whoop your ass or we finna. It ain't like it ain't nothing like that. It just yeah. like like I said earlier, you got to let a man lead. And I mean, it, what hell? I mean, even even biblically speaking, we it's always been men leading. You know what I'm saying? So, I'll, I'll, when, when it comes to submission, I do think that uh, today's woman, a lot of them, they don't want to submit to a man because right. they look at it in such a negative light. Because it's the the word submit almost makes it seem like uh, 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 you trying to dominate them. Where it's yeah, nothing yeah. like that. You trying it's, to control it, them. It, it's more about cooperation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, want, I want somebody who's cooperative. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, ain't, yeah, ain't yeah, trying yeah. to dominate. You ain't trying to do nothing wrong. And my my last point in the animal kingdom, and regardless of what animal you talk about, what do, they all submit to the male, don't mm -hmm. they? Right. The kid, whether it's the kids, the the, the women, everybody uh, submits to the well, to, to except, that male. No, except for spiders. <laughs> and how you, the women and how are bigger than the man. They kill them and eat them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that shit crazy. But, and hyenas, hyenas as well. Yeah, the women, the hyenas, the women, yeah. That, that shit. But they you know, that motherfucker. But but get what's hey, so look, crazy. They got hyenas, they take the too. dick and put you out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Damn. Uh, yeah, no joke. Yeah, but they, 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 they do. Too. But I agree with Doug 1000 percent man. These women, it seems like man, especially when you listen to the shows and shit, shit come down, they don't want to be submissive. They feel they don't need you. You know, but I got, I got to be submissive to this mother. I ain't got to be submissive. Why not? You're That's a woman. Right. The man right. lead the way. Give up. Be submissive. Say, take me. You know, lower your pride. It's a pride thing with women. Because yeah. they think if they be submissive, you the boss. Yeah. Right about that. Ooh, submissive. Let a man come in here, you know, get on the bed, lay down, be quiet. You know, let them do whatever you want. Says I ain't doing shit. No, I, I, I pay some shut the fuck up sometimes. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, but but you know the difference, Lou. If if you in the wild and that woman ain't trying to be submissive, you know what that damn line? That line up be done killed her damn ass. Line and, line. And, and go on by the business. Go on by the business after and that. that and that's, you, a, and that's a man. You know, it's a man. When a, a man got want to have a little control over your motherfucking ass, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. God damn. So what's the big us, idea, though, y'all? Make, make us feel like a leader. Make us feel like we trying to protect y'all. You know what I'm saying? So why they don't want to be submissive, man? I mean, I don't understand, dude. They, I'm, they, they, I'm gonna tell you why. Because they think we trying to control them. Women don't like being controlled. But it, it's also, it's also, in my opinion, once again, because men have made this world so comfortable for women, 
is so comfortable now. They got government assistance. They got backing from the government anyway. And right. so now what they, what they, the way they look at it is, shit, I don't need your ass. I, I do what the fuck I want to do. And All right. Look, and, All right. And, look, and look at this, um, Doug. We ready to have, say we have, uh, we ready to have a woman's president, right? So the, her husband can't say shit to her and shit. <laughs> the first look, the first man up there. We got yeah. the first man up there. What the hell are we talking about? Oh, well, that, I don't like the way they need to name him something else because that don't even sound like you know the what I mean. Man. The first man. The first, the first man. man. The fucking first man. Man, that make you sound man. Oh my god. Hey, look, can you imagine uh the Kamala? He tell Kamala oh, get in. She be like, motherfucker, I'm the president. Get the guy run the country. <laughs> 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 I thought they be arguing like shit, and the mother see Serge coming in and fuck him up and shit, take him over. <laughs> it's just crazy, man. Um, we they always say the you know, women rule the world and the happy life, happy while all that bullshit. But yeah. if they just let go, sometimes be submissive. Um, let the man, like Dub said, let the man lead the way. Right. See what happens. Right. Why? I bet everything would be smooth. If they let that happen. Let's try it. Like uh, one thing though, I was married um, twice. I was married twice. My yeah. first wife, I just tell you, that's the best thing ever happened to me. She was submissive. <laughs> she did anything. But when that woman get mad, boy, <laughs> she got right. mad, but she was submissive. Now the <laughs> second one, the African or oh, fat the devil, what that the, the one we were talking about earlier, Ma, yeah. them yeah. beautiful ass little bitches that you never want again. Cause my second wife, good God, scale of one to ten, she was a twenty. Body yeah. of a goddess. You know what I mean? Go out with a little African friend that night and all that stuff. You see what I mean? That little headache shit, man. You know? Yeah. She wasn't submissive at all. <laughs> <laughs> see what I'm saying? So, it, you know, it's just two different things. And it's it's like as days and days and years and years go on, it, it's still like it's going to get worse before it get better. I don't want no weak woman. I don't want no weak girl, though. But being that submissive, I don't call that weak. You know what I mean? It, it, it takes it, it takes strength to be submissive. I don't, yeah. want, I, I don't want no woman that I can do what the fuck I want, whatever she don't or whatever, whatever. And she don't mm -hmm. say I want a motherfucker. They're gonna I say something that question you. Fear. I want to have a little fear in my heart, like she got fear in hers. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But but the thing is, when we say submissive, it ain't about dominating the dude. That ain't yeah. what it's about. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's more about allowing them and, and really because. Once I see you are that individual I'm looking for, man, I value your opinion. I want yeah. you to speak your opinion. I, I want you, I'm going to make the ultimate decision, but I want your input. And you know what I'm saying? Nine times out of 10, I want to have a conversation with you to make sure we agree with the decision that I'm going to make. Let me saying? lead. Let me lead. You follow. And, <laughs> and, and if you want to lead sometimes, I have no problem with that. You know what I mean? But let, let me lead. That's what I was ready to say. I was ready to say. You know, you got let the man lead. Let, let the man lead. Don't leave the way. Why we can't leave? And, and the thing is, a true leader. The first thing you learn as a true, as a, if you a true leader, what, what you know, you learn to delegate and you learn to take the opinion of the people you lead in into consideration to make the best decisions. You know what I'm saying? So, hell, you my second in command, of course. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you second in command. Yeah. It's my decision to make at the end of the day. So if we do have any disagreement, then I'm going to go ahead with what I think is uh, the best way for us to move forward. I need you to support that, and I need you to be behind it 100%. You know what I'm saying? That's what we, when we say in submission, I don't need you uh, crawling around on, the, on your knees or nothing like that. That ain't what we're talking about. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> ain't nothing like that. So oh. I, I just think that because you use the word submission, now all of a sudden it, it's just such a negative thing where it's like, bro, this shit has been going on. This, this is what this is what made humans uh, be able to survive as long as we done survived in this world. You feel me? So I mean, you're going against nature. You're going against nature when you're trying to lead a man. Uh, when a woman is trying to lead a man, and anytime you're going against nature, nine times out of ten, it ain't the right thing to do, in my opinion. Yeah, one thousand percent. Um. We got the last question of the day. A woman says she will not help her man with the mortgage. Um, it just means we're living above our means. 
So you. she feels if he can't take care of that shit by himself, we're just living above me. Uh, I'm not so helping that you. Bitch, that bitch can get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. I'm paying this motherfucking mortgage and shit. Fuck is she talking about? Down down even. That's the crazy shit right there. Nah. No, <laughs> but yeah, you but she said if you can't pay it. That was she said if you can't pay it, they live. Yeah, you need to move them. We need to move somewhere else because you can't, you know, you're living above your means. Okay, but okay, but how about this? Okay, let's put, how about we put our money together and pay it? Well, she says she not. Oh man, he, that nigga crazy, man. Where we you know? Guess what? And we were talking about that earlier. Remember, yeah. Mom? Doug yeah, wasn't I, on here when we were talking about that. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I, we were talking I, about I, that earlier. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't disagree with that. I, if, if, hey, I, hey, I, I understand, understand what she's saying. I'm with you, Doug. But I understand what she's saying. You yeah, know? I do too. I do. I, if, if I, I can't handle it. We, we, we can't afford to live right here. We got to downgrade our size to live over here. No, she's saying if you can't pay all the fucking bills by yourself without me, even though I can help you pay them, we don't need to be oh, here. No, 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 no. That's that what she uh, said. Yeah, that's correct. No, no, but no. I understand. If you uh, get this house, let's say we get divorced and you get this house, you should be able to pay for this house by yourself. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there? And that's what she's saying. But how about I agree. Can? I agree with that. I agree 100% with her. Yeah, because she said, okay, you know what, name, you put it that way because basically she's saying that if if you can't pay where I live at, where we live at now, hold on, she, she's saying that if you can't pay, you got to be able to pay where we live at now, right? She said you got to be able to pay that. So if you don't pay that, we just got to go down, move. If you can't afford it, we live yeah. above our means. Yeah. That means we need to damn great. We, we need to stop doing some of the shit that we doing. Yeah. So 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 the money can be allocated accordingly yeah, to yeah, where yeah. It, where it needs to be allocated to. Yeah, that's true you know too. That's that's true. True. I, I agree with that. I agree. Yeah. One thousand percent. She ain't got no arguments over here. Yeah, she ain't got no argument. <laughs> I, hey, look. I, I thought it was. I don't know. I, I think we're still else. arguing. I think we're still arguing. Yeah, so, uh, he, we still gotta see. he got we something up his sleeve. What you say? I'm paying the motherfucking bills. She can get the fuck out. I'm running this shit. I'm yeah, this but, but that's what not what she's talking about, boy. That's not what she's talking about. But, no, but if she I leave you, if she leave you, imagine if she leave you and you can't pay for where y'all at. That's you know what, what she's saying. saying? But, yeah, but yeah, that's why I ain't living on no girl, but we gotta go half and half, man. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go half and half. All right. Well, since you brought that up, some women say they're not going half and half. You know, a man, a man should pay the bill. But I heard some young lady, she said it so eloquently. She said, if my man, if my man need me to go half and half on bills, I go half on the bills. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's exactly what she said. If he need me to go half on the bills, I will go half on the bill. You know what I mean? This is the thing, though. I will say, I think that how old y'all are, I think that matters a lot because mm -hmm. a lot of times, younger men, you know what I'm saying, they mm -hmm. ain't really caught their stride. They ain't making the money they that they right. potentially have the chance to make. You know what I'm saying? So they may have to, especially if they're in a relationship early in life, they may need that. You know what I'm saying? My thing is, if you're going to, if, if, if it is something like that, then attach, your, attach yourself or make sure that the person that you're going to go half and half with, they got, they got something that, that they, they have a vision. You feel me? Make sure that you can support that vision and you see where things are going and you can make it happen that way. Don't just be out here paying for niggas, bro. And yeah, I, I, I tell my, I tell my, 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 my niece this all the time. I'm like, look, you know what I'm saying? I know your mama didn't tell you that. I, I know that. Listen, don't let no man live off you. Yeah. I don't, ain't no way you can let a man live off you. You know what I'm saying? So I, I understand that piece of it. But at the same but, time, but, 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 but when they fall in love, you can't do nothing about that. You can't. I agree. I agree. And I'm I'm a type, if I can afford it, and if I have a lot of money, I'm comfortable, I'm paying the majority of everything, but I'm giving you some responsibility. Right. Yeah. You're going to have to pay your car insurance, you know, public car insurance, you know, maybe um electricity, that's right. it. Cable bill. <laughs> 
The cable bill, you got to pay something. You want to pay something. I'm not paying for if You got to, because if you give women uh, um nothing, they're going to feel they're entitled. Right, right. You're right about that. You know, they're going to feel they're entitled. And no, man, you want to pay like something. I pay the mortgage and all that shit, but you know, you paying something. I'm gonna be yeah, honest. Well, I'm gonna be, be living in the dark, looking at each other and shit. Hey, hey you, you know what? I, I, I one thing I love, bro. When I was married, uh, hey, I, 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 you be our accountant. You know what I'm saying? I need you to put all this shit together and let me know. Uh, uh, put the bit. I ain't got no problem with you doing that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You throw a little extra here, a little extra there, which I know you're gonna do. I know you're gonna do it, so right. you can get a little extra here, and there, but. I ain't got no problem with it because as long as I understand what I, I ain't the best with numbers. I ain't the best. Now, when I got to do it myself, I, I can do it. I can do it. But do I like to do it? Hell no. I like to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest. But, you so, know, when you comfortable like that and you you real comfortable like that, what I do, oh, I, I do what some people don't do. All my yeah. shit automatic. So I won't forget. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, everything, everything come out automatically of my nah, bank but, account. But, but, nah, but you know, what? motherfucker, nobody got to pay. We just be like, sometimes oh, I pay. This nigga. But, it, it, it ain't about what you got to pay. It ain't about what you got to pay. It's about all. Let's say you, let's say you bring home three hundred thousand a year. Yeah, three hundred, yeah. three hundred four. You know, <laughs> take this shit automatic out the account. You ain't got to worry about it because you know us men, we'll forget. We got so much shit going on, we'll forget. <laughs> but this is not, like I told the dude last week, he had financial things and because he can't manage his money. I mean, let me tell you how to manage your money. You know, at every bank you go to, you can go on the internet and you know, and it will let you know alerts what's coming out your bank account. I get alerts for everything, Navy Federal, everything. Yeah. Whatever. If I spend ten dollars, boop, you just spend ten dollars, twenty dollars, three hundred dollars. Boop, alerts, alerts, alerts. Yeah, right, and yeah, that yeah. also stop people, stop people from stealing from you. Yeah, but those scams, the motherfuckers, they, they still find a way. You see what I'm saying, dog? That I also do. stop people. Like if you have a um, what's that people uh, financial advisor who pays yeah. your bills and shit oh, like that? Yeah. Hey, That's what you do. You get alerts, though. So if if you get a lot, wait a minute. What three thousand dollars going to? You know what I mean? And you pick that phone and say, "Wait a minute, why you take three thousand dollars on my bank account?" Well, like, he be shocked. He be shocked. I think, but I think it, see, that, that, that's a problem with me right there. I would have a big problem. I'm not. Letting, I don't want no fucking accounting. I'm, I count my own money. Let me exactly. go to my bank and I got my own money. Exactly. I know what I'm spending. Fuck all that percentage and shit. Oh, yep. I'm. I, if I, you know, if you got a hundred million. You you the only one can touch that motherfucker hundred million to go buy this. I got buy that. That's why I yeah. went to college and I took them classes. Right. I'm gonna manage my own money. You know, uh, I'm uh, gonna manage. Gonna know how to count money. If you don't know how to do nothing else, you gonna count that motherfucking money. Hey, look, hold on. Let me let me, <laughs> let me ask you this real quick. So I was looking at some and. You know what I'm saying, bro. He 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 drive trucks or whatever. He he bringing the money home, whatever. Come to find out, his old lady. I don't know exactly how he found out about it, but she got a she she done been taking money from their account, putting it into another account. Mm -hmm. so, uh, well, if something do happen, you know what I'm saying. And it come yeah, to find out, it, 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 it's it's about twenty five, thirty thousand yeah. dollars in that motherfucker. You know what I'm yeah. saying. And she like, well, if something do so happen, joint, I can have to make sure I would set myself right. up correctly. What y'all, what, what, what y'all think about that? But yeah, okay, but they might have a joint, something like that. But even though, what if he would have had what I just said? Yeah, alert yeah, on his it's account. Alert. Yeah. What's coming out? You got? I'm telling. I'm trying. I'll be dropping down. You okay, have these like, alert. You drop. You, you know, it let you know what coming out your account. That yeah. you know that's what happened to um Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, oh, bro. Charlie was buying properties with his money. Oh, she didn't know it. She found out. He found out too late. Damn. Yeah, she been buying all kinds of shit. They're getting over. They're getting over. Money getting over buying all kinds of shit, man. Damn. You know, ah, uh, I got a, all three of my accounts. I got alerts on all my shit. Alerts and don't and it, 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 just me. So I ain't got to worry Mine about too. it. Mine too. Mine too. 
I ain't worried about that shit. Let that shit. Anything, Doug. Bing. <laughs> oh, I said my name. I said my name. Um, that was it. That was it. All the time. <laughs> exactly. You can, man, fuck that. And that's how one way you can manage some money or whatever going on, man. But um, yeah. this, lady, this girl is right, though. If he can't afford it, why? We, we live, live above, above our means. means. We live yeah. above our means. Yeah. I, Girl, I agree with if, you. I, I feel, if I leave I your ass, how you going to take care of the house? Right. right. Yeah, yeah, Unless yeah. you live down there with Doug, man, then, you know, the mortgage ain't up to $1,200. You know, 1100 you big, uh, rich, rich down there, hey, motherfucker. And hey, 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 get what? That, that's, that's exactly why I moved out of Atlanta. That's exactly, exactly. why I moved up. That's exactly why I moved up. Where we Georgia. San Antonio? Yeah, in Georgia. I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 Georgia. Georgia. Okay. Look at that ugly ass hat he got on. You can't tell me that ugly ass hat? Hey, 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 we showed out this motherfucking weekend, then we we showed out again. So so we can do this, Doug. I know you've been doing your thing and stuff like that, but we do start our football show this Sunday, 11 o'clock. We love for the cowboy ass to bring on the panel. You send me the link. Huh? Send me the link. I'll jump on with y'all. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, but you know, more. God's team won. You know, God's team. I don't you know, know who that is. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Team for all today. Do you know what's so crazy, Lou? You know what's so crazy? Uh, This weekend, this past weekend, I was in uh Atlanta at my aunt, my aunt and my uncle, they had a car accident or whatever, so they in the hospital and shit. And my uncle, the nigga graduated from Notre Dame, right? Mm-hmm. Man, this nigga, look, so me and him, we, we got a chance to watch the Notre Dame A&M game together. Man, that nigga going, I'm like, man, we gonna be, we'll scrub the shit out of Notre Dame if we played y'all mother. We'll scrub y'all. You know, nigga, you know why Notre Dame, you know, we just can't get over hump no more because the academics. That's why um, yeah, which yeah, y'all, 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 y'all too damn strict. We will bit. not. We will not allow. They will. They won't lower the academic standards. And them hey, 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 listen. To any school they want now. And shit. Hey, Lou. Hey, Lou. Sometimes huh? you got. You got to let a few niggas in the school, man. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Mo. I'm not lying. When I seen our team, I'm like, damn, where the black guys at? <laughs> hey. So I know we ain't gonna be shit because oh, we ain't got no athletic name? ability. Oh, yeah. Y'all you know, I ain't, I ain't even see y'all game, but I, I knew y'all won. Dude, we ain't got no, but I ain't gonna lie. Maybe 10 black people. Man, that's pushing it. And get what team. we got. And get what we got. We got all the hood niggas that you, hey, hey, <laughs> them niggas driving, them niggas speeding in charge, got DUIs yeah. and everything. Yeah, you know how to battle my team and shit. <laughs> yeah. We, we, gonna scrub y'all the last too. we gonna scrub y'all ass too, so be ready for it. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, um, the NFL show of Bud Entertainment stars this Sunday, 11 o'clock. Everybody should be on time. I got us a new um a, a new um uh, intro, Ma. You're gonna love it when you see it. Yeah. I'm telling you, I should have played now for y'all, but Tony will be mad at me. No, you no, know, because she lived down the street. She kicked my ass, not Tony. <laughs> 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 hey man, but hey, dude, you gotta come on the show, man. But the, just don't put that cowboy shit on, man. Yeah, shit hurt my eyes. Man. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, have my cowboy hey, shit on. I'm gonna have my cowboy shit on. Shit about y'all so bad, boy. I can't <laughs> wait to talk shit about y'all cowboys. <laughs> you know, boy, they go, they going to the Super Bowl again. Yo, shit. Hey, every year, every year, every year, every year, I believe we win, we went to the Super Bowl, bro. Jerry Jones. Hey, this y'all lose before, the first round early, yeah, before dog. we get off the show, what what Georgia gonna do? Right, I, 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 I got I picked this last year. I thought we got shit at last year as far as not making the college football playoff. But yeah, uh, I will say, hey, bro, Kirby, Kirby is the new Nick Saban, nigga. Like <laughs> it ain't, it ain't, it ain't about, it ain't about. We 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 got the skill, we got the talent, we got the coaching. Uh. And now with them having a twelve a uh, team playoff, we we automatically in the fucking playoffs. You know, yeah. what I'm saying? so uh, uh, outside of Alabama, and, and because Nick Saban ain't coaching Alabama, I think we both raced the oh, majority. No, 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 of no, 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 we got a good coach, dog. We got a good coach. 
I don't know. Uh, uh, y'all, he he was got, good. We, had, we, had coach, we got the coach. The nigga, with, uh, the, the, coach the, the, the nigga, the nigga was at Washington and went and yeah, won twenty two to twenty. The nigga won twenty two to twenty against Oregon. Nigga, what are you talking about? We Man, all them Alabama players getting the fuck up out of there. Nick Saban gone. Them niggas gonna be trash. We we put it. We go. All right, we we, hey, we gonna find we we, go, we gonna find out we gonna find out we gonna find out we gonna find out at the end of September when we go Y'all to overrated. when we go to when we go to Tuscaloosa when we go to Tuscaloosa Georgia and be, is overrated. They overrated. All right. <laughs> you don't even believe that. Well, you don't even believe I, that. Hey, look, I, I, over, I know man. one thing. Don't even believe that. I know one thing. Somebody on this panel gonna be doing this. Baby, cried for me. Come on. Cry. Hey, it, it won't be. Them, it, it, it won't be them dogs. I get. I guarantee it won't be them yeah. dogs. I guarantee it. Oh, man. I Y'all guarantee it. Overrated. I, I appreciate it, man. Dub for coming in, man. You know, nice seeing you, brother. Wills are still there as usual, man. You okay, know, we're gonna be bye. doing recording now, and then we're gonna do some live show. But most we gonna record this shit. You know, cause hey, you know, yeah. it's football season, baby. Yeah, and y'all just let me know when y'all jump on, man. I, you know, hey, you know what it is, Lou. It's always a pleasure to rock with y'all. I don't have a chance to rock like I used to as much, but it's coming soon. It's about to be coming back, and hey, uh, the content, the content gonna switch up a little bit because yeah. we'll be covering multiple subjects. But uh, we will be back do that because, like I told people today. Um, I ain't no really no Boston content. You're just talking the same old the shit. Same? I ain't no, I ain't no interlude, interlude for today, right? It's more it's for yesterday. Okay, yeah, I just seen him on my sports. I ain't no. Yeah, see? And, and, and the dude, he fought. I was like, bro, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> I, that's why they didn't put anything in the ring for that motherfucker. Yeah, like, 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 like yeah. The, the Boston content, respectfully, man, that shit that became so fucking repetitive yeah. that it don't even make like... I did. I had. I had to step back from it because it, it's the same shit every day. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, bro, yeah, I, can't, I can't deal with yeah. this shit. Bro. Like today, we talking about what Eddie Hearn said today. But the last part of the show, we talked about women boxing. Yeah, you know, they talking about women boxing. Ain't nothing you else struggling. to talk about. You struggling. You know, you struggling. You know what I mean, Lou. Man, Mr. Snow. Man, Mr. Snow. Katie Ray fight on what's night, right? Yeah, they fight on the Jake Paul card. Okay. It's my and, tight style, man. Yeah, and, and 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 we really don't even give a Jake Paul and my, Jake Paul Mike Tyson. Yeah, come yeah, on, bro, we, Mike Tyson. This no. nigga, shout out to Mike. You know that's one, my favorite fighter. Me and him got the same birthday, June thirtieth. But my God, this nigga about to be sixty. What are we talking about? Yeah. And, with, 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 right? What are Mike we talking Tyson, about? Jake Paul, Floyd Mayweather, and a nigga, and that Gotti dude. I mean, boxing is fucked hey, up. What nobody understands out here. I ain't even watch that shit. They say what nobody in the stand. Floyd just still a champ. Yeah, he's still a good man. Look, but hey, dog, Floyd, Floyd hey, Lou. fired the referee. Hey, Lou, you know I love fight, boxing. Mm-hmm. He got it. He fired the referee. He told the referee get Lou, the fuck, and he brought another referee in. I ain't yeah. never seen no shit Lou, like that. You know I love life. boxing, bro. You know I love boxing. Yeah, but for it to be this repetitive right now. It, 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 I'm like, man, I can't even the, do this anymore. I can't do it. I, can't, I, no I just can't do it. Brian Norman, 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 shout out to Brian Norman Jr., man. Shout out to Brian Norman Jr. from Georgia. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 hey, hey, I rock with him. But uh, uh, he do. They doing so. I don't know who doing bush. I don't know. I don't. I, I ain't paying enough attention. Yeah. To know who doing we'll be all day, man. But we'll exactly. talk about it another day, man. That's hey, it. Man, love y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. All right, Much love. Take care, babe. All right, we'll see you later, champ. Hi, dog.